In this lecture, I will show you how to create your own Helm charts. You can create Helm charts to deploy your own applications. It's the recommended way to deploy your application on Kubernetes. Packaging the app using Helm allows you to deploy the app in one command, instead of using kubectl create or apply. Helm allows for upgrades and rollbacks. Your Helm chart is also version controlled. To create the files necessary for a new chart, you can enter the command helm create and then the name of your chart. Here, for example, my chart. And this will create a directory called my chart. And in this directory, it will create files that you need. It will create a chart.yaml, values.yaml, and a folder templates. In chart.yaml, you find some metadata like the API version, the app version, a description, the name of your chart, and the version of your chart. This is just some basic information that you can fill out. Values.yaml contains the values that you want to use in your chart using YAML format. I will show you the default one in the next demo. The default one is already quite long and it contains things like the image name, the image tag that you define in the values.yaml and it can then use in the templates. So then let's have a look at the templates folder. In the templates folder, you will find things like deployment.yaml, service.yaml, and those are the files that you are familiar with. These are the Kubernetes YAML files, but you can use variables in them. You can use a templating mechanism to create dynamic YAML files. And then Helm will interpret these, and then when you do Helm install, it will install these YAML files. In the next demo, I will show you a little bit more detail. And then I will also show you an example chart that I've created.